Stage 1 begins the path of the future MVM player. The reason they decided to start playing though could be different for many reasons. They might have unboxed an MVM ticket in a crate, their friend might have asked them if they wanted to play, or they might have just gotten bored of the regular Team Fortress 2 gameplay and were just annoyed at how bad they are. Oh my god. Whichever reason, they decided to dive into the world of MVM, but because they've just started, they'll have absolutely no clue what they're doing, and make mistakes such as hogging dispensers, only healing one teammate, and the most common one, triggering the uber medics. Some players might only play for one or two tours before stopping MVM because they don't really like it, but if they keep playing, they might get a bit better. After playing MVM for a while, the young man vs machine player realizes that they enjoy the game mode and starts to play the game more. But still, they aren't that good at the game yet and might look up MVM guides to get better at the game. Okay, so I go right in front of the bots. That makes sense. What? After watching some guides, they might get a bit more knowledgeable of the game and play classes like Heavy, Engineer, and maybe Pyro as they're easy to get kills with. At this stage, MVM players might think that they're really good at the game, even though they constantly get looked down upon by high tours and might get kicked by toxic players if they trigger ubermedics or do something else. Even with all this, they're still excited to play MVM whenever they can and will try to do the best they can do. Around this time is when the MVM player starts to get better at the game and can actually be a valuable asset to the team. By this point, they understand what certain robots do, how to deal with them, and might start to try out more difficult classes such as Sniper and Scout. Still, they know that they can get better at the game and occasionally watch MVM guides a little bit more carefully this time, and might even start to do... Uh, let me just try this. Yeah, I, I think that looks good. You, you can like see the screen better. Make sure if you can see like the bots. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Along with this, MDM players start to make themselves out to be a god at the game, and their Steam profiles will definitely start to look the part. With most MDM players' usernames being just one word, trying to be edgy. I I don't know why that's the case for every account, but it just is. Even still, they can get talked down by high tours, and while they try for it to not get to them, it sometimes can. Oh, you terrible pyro, don't use the gas passer! Bro, why do you keep triggering the uber medics? Engineer, put the dispenser here! Medic, crits me, not him! Oh, oh my god, just go back and play casual like everybody, everybody else. else. In this stage, the MVM player has been getting a lot of hate from annoyed high tours, toxic players, and more. And because of this, the MVM player has start to get upset or burned out and doesn't really enjoy MVM as much as they used to. Some players, if they continue to play, might only play one class as they think they're only good on it, and they might even stop playing Man vs. Machine altogether. Though, if they sober by this dark stage in every MVM player's lifetime, they might eventually have some fun and get out of their emo phase. In this stage, the MVM player finally starts enjoying Man vs. Machine again, and they pick off a sense of where they left off a while ago, but this time a bit more knowledgeable. Unlike Stage 3, they know they aren't the best MVM player out there, but might occasionally top score their team while playing Sniper, Heavy, or some other class. Along with changing their view model FOV, they might customize their game settings and view by downloading a custom HUD, getting weapons with war paints on them, and might even put in their own hit sound and kill sound. Hmm, I wonder if this hit sound sounds nice. Put this yeah, I think that's good. Alright, let's test it out. And with this, they might be a couple different kinds of MVM players at this stage. You'll have the casual MVM players who don't really care if they're bad and always have a fun time playing. Or, you can have the try-hard man versus machine player, who, while not being toxic, will try their hardest to do the best on their team. Or, maybe, they might become... After around 50 tours of man versus machine, the MVM player has started to get, well, a little annoyed at some things. Unlike before, they found to get themselves angry if their teammates' loadouts aren't optimal, and they will definitely just start to despise Pyro, mainly the gas passer. 
They may not be salty to other players directly, but to themselves. And also, before or around this stage, they might have even won a few Australians, or might have gotten a good professional killstreak kit or a good bot killer. And if so, they might become materialistic and try to buy fancy and usuals to seem better at the game. There has to be a way to seem better than everyone else. Oh, here it is. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Dad! Dad! Mom! I need the credit card! Now! It might be hard to tell if you have this kind of player in your game. Most of the time, they won't be very vocal. But if something small tips them off in a bad way, you'll definitely know. Now, this stage is a bit of a step up from the last stage. The MVM player has been getting even more annoyed from their teammates, and will occasionally call them out for it in an annoyed fashion. Oh my god! Stupid engineer, get your dispenser here, now! And possibly, they might leave games in the middle of matches if somebody disagrees with them, or they might just end up getting kicked by other less toxic players. Even with this, they still think that they're one of the best players out there, and if a low tour makes such as a small mistake, they'll yell at them in chat, or voice chat. Little does the high tour MVM player know, they've become the toxic high tour that used to yell at them when they were new. Alright, this stage is the peak of MVM players' toxicity and salt. If you've ever played MVM, you're sure to have come across this kind of player. They don't care if you're somebody who has 5 tours, 50 tours, or 200 tours. They'll still be extremely angry if you mess up, just like in stage 7. No one likes these kinds of players, and if you meet one in game, the best thing to do is to not pay them any attention. Even though they're very rude, they're still very knowledgeable of the game. The only problem is that instead of trying to teach this information to players, most of the time they'll just insult them for not knowing any of it. And also around the stage, they might join a specific group. <clears throat> just kidding, not many people join it. But there are still tons of people who mix up these toxic high tour players for taco bots. But similarly, these kinds of players will want their team to do exactly what they want, and for them to always stick to the meta. So, the MVM player has been playing toxically for hundreds of tours, kicking tons of new players, and everything along the lines of being a jerk. But recently, the man vs machine player has been thinking, wait, do I really need to be toxic to everyone? With this, they've been playing the exact same way for hours and hours, but now, they might be trying to change. They finally realize they don't need to be a toxic player to gain respect from their teammates. With this change, this kind of MVM player is one of the greatest, and more often than not, will try to help their teammates instead of kicking them for not knowing something small like milking giant robots. They might actually start to make friends instead of enemies and are a real fun time to play with. These players might think that they can't get any better at the game, but they can! As one of the rarest stages, not many MVM players reach this time, but the ones who do are real fun to play with and amazing at the game. No longer are they toxic and have decided to help their team out instead of hurting them. They know the complete ins and outs of every mission, memorize where certain bots spawn at the exact moment, and will top score a lot of the time. They also know where to place stickies to maximize damage, know where to place their buildings at the best effect on their team, and everything else to help out and be a good team member. These players have gotten tons of good items, if their luck is good, and have been playing MVM for years now. You'll definitely know if you have this kind of player on your server. They make major plays for the team, and not in an angry way like the last four stages will make you think. Basically, this MVM player has become one of the gods of man versus machine. Real quick, just want to give a thanks to Magician Spy for helping out with some of the SFM bits. He's got his own YouTube channel linked right here, so uh, go check that out if you want to see any more TF2 content.